everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm just going to kind of talk, really. Um, I mean, that's what I do in every video, but I was going to basically do a vlog kind of style video, but I didn't really get around to filming too much. So I'm just going to kind of update what's been going on and yeah, just fill you in, really. So I'm currently back home. We had a few days off or we didn't have a few days off uni, but we had all our lectures online. I just come back for a few days just to chill out and relax, see some of my friends who I haven't seen. And I haven't been home for like a month, so it's nice just to be back. Me and my dad just went out for a nice coffee um, and this most gorgeous sticky toffee pudding. Honestly, it was beautiful. It was so sickly, so I could only have half, um, but it was, oh, honestly, the best one I've ever had in my life. So yummy. Um, but now I'm just back. It's about four, I think. Oh, it's about three. Um, so I'm just about to do some work. I've got a formative due tomorrow. So I'm just trying to do that. Um, and then a bit of my dissertation work, really. So not really exciting stuff, but I need to get it done by tomorrow. And then it's out of the way then i can kind of relax and enjoy my weekend so i'm excited to get those done i actually am feeling really halloweeny like i just love autumn and i'm feeling really autumn at the moment and i wanted to kind of watch a halloween film so i was like fine i'll watch hocus pocus because i watch it every year such a good film however it was 11 pound to buy on amazon prime it's not on netflix anymore so i went to asda because i was like hopefully they might have it picked it up for five pound and it was 11 pound on amazon prime so that was a pretty good steal and i also bought the weirdest thing um i'm not really sure why i bought this it's some pumpkin hanging decorations yeah as i said i'm not really sure i don't really know what they're gonna look like let me get one out i think they're a kid's thing of probably I mean, it's not going to be an adult thing. But I thought it might look cute in my room. <laughs> a uni. My housemates are going to hate me. Because where am I going to put this? It's not going in the kitchen, I can't imagine. But I just thought if you could, don't want to buy like a real pumpkin and you still want to feel in the autumnal, fall, Halloween mood... This is kind of a good way to go. Obviously it doesn't go mouldy. Just hang it up. Oh, I think you have to tape. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't see that. Can you see? It's got those little sticker bits. That makes it stay. Let me do that. really cute maybe it's just me but I love it I'm gonna pop it in the back here oh. I think that looks it looks rubbish doesn't it well anyway that's what I bought to get me in the Halloween mood so I'm gonna make more of those and watch Hocus Pocus I think after I finished but I wanted to say that on Tuesday, something very exciting happened. I got my first tattoo ever. Um, I was so nervous. So I was going to vlog it. I was going to, you know, show me going to the tattoo place and getting it done. And then I kind of bottled it because I was, I was so excited, but I was also so nervous. I was, I didn't know what it was going to feel like. I hadn't obviously had one before. No one could really tell me kind of how painful it was because everyone's so different. And I didn't know the guy before, like before I chose to go to him. I hadn't known anyone who'd went to him. So I was just, I had no idea. But I just thought I'd talk through it now. So I've probably wanted this tattoo since I was about 16. Um, I searched ages to try and find someone who did it really thin. So basically, my idea was I wanted a flower on my rib here. And I knew that's where I wanted it. I knew exactly the kind of style. Um, thin, very detailed, small, but done really well. Um, 
and I found a few people but they were just a bit too thick like the line was I wanted like a really thin line then I came across this guy called Joe and his pitch or his designs are so stunning they're so pretty and so intricate and really feminine I really like that kind of style um, but without being too girly does that make sense I booked the tattoo in March for October so nothing was delayed and yeah I went Tuesday I absolutely love it I as I said I was really nervous about what to expect so I sent him four I think four picture designs of what I wanted um one of them was his previous work the kind of to kind of go off of and then the other three were photos that I'd had from when I was 16 and kind of just kept them and really wanted that kind of design so my idea was like a daisy but a drawing so I always knew that I wanted a daisy which some people are like what's your name but I wanted a daisy here is always what I wanted and I just couldn't have asked for a better tattoo so it's on my like side boob rib area so it's gonna be quite hard without getting my boob out but I'll see if I can try oh yeah you can see it there there you go so it's tiny so it's really tiny um from far away it's literally like that I couldn't have asked for a better tattoo I absolutely love it it was just everything I wanted and more for my first tattoo and I may have booked in for another one maybe maybe my nan really did not approve of me getting one she was like I just think that you know I just don't like them I said nan I'm getting like a flower um so I'm gonna go and see her on Saturday so I'm going to take the camera and maybe film her reaction to see what she thinks because she hasn't seen it yet and I'm interested to see I'm sure she'll love it but she might hate it but I'm kind of interested to see what that's going to be like it didn't actually hurt when I got it done like I'm so surprised that it just didn't hurt the only thing that hurt more than the tattoo was that my hand was above my head and it went dead so I think I'm not really sure how long it took, maybe 15, 20 minutes, I think. I'm not really sure, I wasn't really timing it, but it didn't take long at all. Obviously it's quite tiny. So thank you, Joe, because I absolutely love it. So it's kind of a week of transformations. Not that a tattoo is a transformation, but it's still something to do with my body. Tomorrow I'm getting my hair done, which I am so excited about. Just got back. Um, I rushed to put on some makeup, not very well, but it's on and then I am going out for some drinks because I thought why not you've got new hair a friend recommended the guy who did my hair his name was Ben he was so lovely just the kindest guy ever um I showed him a picture and was like you can go off this but you can go off whatever you want kind of have free range he put well I'm not really I'm not a hairdresser so I'm not gonna pretend that I know exactly what he did but he put bleach in it and then we toned it for like maybe about half an hour, 40 minutes or something. And then it's like an ashy, like an ashy blonde, kind of white. Um, it looks quite gray, not gray at the moment, but it looks really white. He cut it as well, so I don't know if you can see, so I'll show you the back. Like that, look at that. Yeah, there's not really much else to say apart from I love it. I'm not really sure what this video is, but I just basically wanted to showcase my tattoo and hair. I knew that I was going to get it done this week and I was going to do like a little transformation. However, it just didn't really happen. Yeah, I think if I do go to my nan's, I'm going to see if I can get a reaction to my tattoo. If not, I'm going to end the video here. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. I don't mind. Are you oh yeah, you were saying you were going to. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hang on, can you see it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Do you like it? Yeah, it's not huge, is it? No, it's, yeah. it's, it's not like, yeah. it's, it's not a scar or anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's lovely. Oh. Did it hurt? No. Did it take very long? No, not really. <laughs>